Good morning. It's Thursday, October 1st, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Road We Must Travel. And our scriptures from Isaiah's prophecy and also 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Isaiah writes, For since the world began, no ear has heard and no eye has seen a God like you, who works for those who wait for him. And then Paul reaffirms that in 1 Corinthians. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Every now and then, I think of the poster I once saw of an elderly Native American man standing at the Grand Canyon, and the caption read, Something big happened here. Of course, hindsight is a much clearer lens than imagination. Nobody imagined the global greenhouse gases effect of Henry Ford's Model T's rolling off the assembly lines toward American homes. The emerging possibility of an automobile for every family was the upside. Extinction of a species, or even the entire habitation of planet Earth, well, that was quite beyond imagination. We are a full eight months into the current pandemic. For many of us, perhaps most of us, busy and making plans with whatever occupies our time, the lion's share of whatever big is happening in the COVID-19 era may be the inconvenience of having things so complicated. Many of us are simply waiting it out, longing for the better times of no irritating masks and social distancing to reappear. We want the masks and death toll keepers to dissipate eventually disappear in favor of what our minds fondly recall as, quote-unquote, normal. I've been reading a lot, checking the news cycles, talking with people, and certainly praying much. All of it is permeated by pandemic speak. What it means, how much of it is true, how long will it last, and for the wistful among us, when will it go away and let us get back to our normal lives? I'm almost afraid to get transparent here about what seems to me the obvious emerging answer to these troubling, agonizing questions. That is, we're asking the wrong questions. Some of the articles I've read, particularly about what the quote-unquote new normal means for churches, have pronounced an inevitability over the fact that the big that's happening now is a change on the order of an ice age. It's not going away, and everything is going to be different. What that means at ground zero for those who choose to believe the pre-2020 conditions of life are going to come back is the unplanned destination of PPSD, post-pandemic traumatic syndrome. So, what is there to do? Just forget everything pre-pandemic and move along in zombie mode with the rest of the crowd, taking each day's new protest as normal? Uh, not in the least. Every now and then, something comes about to change everything. Remember the cross? The movement was going so well. Crowds were getting larger. Two sardines and a few crumbs of bread multiplied to feed thousands. Healings, miracles, Lazarus coming out of the tomb. And then Judas, Pilate, three nails on the hill they called the skull. And then the dead silence of Arimathea's tomb. Everything changed. And then everything changed again Sunday morning. And about all of that, Isaiah said, and Paul reaffirmed, you can't know everything God's up to. Get over it. Just look for his hand moving wherever something big is happening. And this is the road we must travel. For you today, many times God has said to his children, Don't fear, take courage, just get ready for action, because I'm about to do something new. And here's what you can start to dwell on today. If you're stuck, waiting and looking for the old normal to return, you just might miss the new wonderful God's handing out. Open your heart, 
Your redemption is closer now than ever before. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day in God's light.